What's going on guys? Alex here with 814 ADC and today I'm ready to bring to you guys my full review on the American Blade Works Model 1 version 6. Now I've had this in for eh, I think going on three weeks now and this was loaned to me by my buddy John over Grateful Panic Knife Reviews. Um, when I did the unboxing I did not realize that there was like another separate like little envelope in the packaging that held some of John's stickers so I forgot to I didn't realize that until after I had um, finished the unboxing and like started uh, or quit filming um, and I was like oh John sent me some stickers so just wanted to show that off to you guys so that is awesome I really like his logo um, it's just you know it's unique um, and I've, I've always really liked it so I will leave a link to John's Instagram and his YouTube uh, down below in the description so please go check him out if you haven't already um, I'm sure if you're watching my channel you know about John kind of how it goes with other channels that I get stuff in from um, but yeah so we were on the uh, lefty live hosted by Kevin lefty EDC one of my brothers um, we were on there and we were talking and he had been carrying the model uh, model 1 v6 I sometimes I get that confused um, on that day and he was flipping it and talking about it and we were just chatting and I was like yeah I've always really wanted to you know experience uh, American Blade Works I've really been intrigued by their designs and just they seem like really good knives for you know a good price um, and you know we, we're continuing to talk as I can't talk right now uh, and later in the live he's like yeah Alex you want me to you know I can send this out to you if you want to check it out and I was like yeah dude I'd love to check it out so bada bing bada boom he sent it out and I've had it for like I said two and a half three weeks um, but I, I've you know I've carried it a little bit well I've carried a lot I've cut with it a tiny bit you know I, I try not to cut with uh, loaners and stuff like that, but I've I've gotten a really good handle and a really good idea of You know what I like about this knife, and I think this review is gonna be very positive because You know I've genuinely enjoyed carrying this this has been honestly one of my favorite loaners um, To date and I've really loved every loaner I've had in so far, but this just I don't know There's just something about this and I really really enjoy it. So I'll quit rambling We'll jump right into and I'll quit looking down at the knife. I'll jump right into <laughs> Uh, materials so starting off we have some black micarta here um, as you guys can see it has taken some I'm trying to catch the light here it's taken some oils uh, this is obviously John's knife so he has carried it and used it um, and I've carried it so it has taken some oils from both of our hands um, and that's you know one thing that I have talked about before why I love micarta is because it kind of makes a knife unique because micarta you know adapts differently it takes oils from hands differently so it just makes it kind of more it's more of a personalized, you know, sort of material than G10 or titanium. Um, it's just, you know, that's why one reason I love micarta. So, and it's it's really nicely done. Um, you know, some micartas are, you know, sort of dry feeling, but this is, you know, really nicely feeling. Um, it has good texture, good grip, and I think that uh, American Blade Works did a really good job on it. So, big props to that. Uh, you have a cool pivot here with ABW American Blade Works on there like that a lot. This is a flipper only knife, as you guys can see in the flipper tab. Um, I really like how the flipper's done. It's nicely shaped, has some jimping up, up front here. Nice. Um, it has a titanium milled pocket clip with one screw, uh, which I will talk about later in the carry. I have something, you know, I just want to bring that up and talk about it. A titanium backspacer. And then for the blade, we have a just simple sort of drop point, kind of a spear point drop point blade. Um, you guys can see it has a heavy stone wash. It is a almost full flat, but it has, I almost poked myself. It has a swedge. You guys can kind of see the line there. It has like a swedge cut into the top right there, but it's pretty much a full flat grind. Um, S35BN on the blade. Now I do know, I think from, I was talking to John about this. I know that uh, Michael Martin, who, Michael Martin? I think that's the the creator and owner of American Blade Works. He is offering 20 CV blades, but I think that's only on the newer G10 models. I could be completely wrong, but I want to say that's what John told me when I was talking to him about it. But um, S35VN, you know, very adequate steel. Um, you know, it kind of has some gripes in the community with you know it, but at, at this price point, I think it's still very much adequate. Um, you go any higher, I would you know want to see M390. 20, feet, 20 CV, something like that. But I think it, you know, the sub $200 price range, I think S35BN is still, you know, very much a good usable steel to use. 
but to each of their own. So um, it is a liner lock, you guys can see right there. Um, for skeletonizing and you know milling, there is some on the liners. The liners are uh, inset into the scales, which is really, really nice. I love when uh, knife, com or knife makers and companies do that. Um, like I said, there's some, you know, it's very minimal uh, or minimal, but this knife has a good weight to it. You know, some knives, I, I, t I tend to like knives that are, you know, lighter. I, I pretty much, I think everyone does, um, unless you, you know, love a, a brick in your pocket. But um, I think this has a good weight to it. It's not too heavy. It's not too light, you know, for the size and for the materials. I think it's, you know, it's perfect and I, I, I like it. So no gripes with there being more, you know, milling or you know cutting out of anything on there so uh, I think that's everything on materials um, uh, one other thing I would like to note is if you look at these scales here I really like that there is uh, you know very few screws you have the pivot you have the backspacer screw right here and then you have the one pot clip screw same on the other side um, you have the actual pivot screw right here you have the pot clip screw and then you have the, uh, the other uh, pot clip screw or backspacer screw, excuse me, and then the pocket clip screw. Um, you know, a lot of days, a lot of times nowadays you see knife companies with, um, you know, they have to use a lot of screws to keep everything together. And that was just one thing that really stuck out to me is like legit three screws. Um, I didn't take this knife apart um, or anything like that because I didn't really need to. Um, you know, and that just to me would make it so, so much more simple, so much more easy to maintain it and, you know, do maintenance on it and I think it just looks better. I think that, you know, the less pot clips the better. So, you know, bravo to ABW for that. Uh, big, big props to them. So just kind of something else I wanted to add. And then I just thought of something I was gonna say that I forgot about. Uh, what was I gonna say? I don't know, I, I'll probably think about it, but um, I think that's everything for material. So we'll move on to action. Sorry guys, I'm just really thirsty today for some reason. Gotta get the H2O in. Um, but action again we just have a flipper tab here that's this is the flipper only knife which I tend to gravitate more towards knives if they have a flipper on it with either thumb studs or holes or a fuller so you can you know flick it out um, I like having the best of both worlds but you know if a flipper knife is done well that kind of makes up for it and this is a great flipper only knife so like I said you have a nice flipper tab here you got some good you know grip or you know I guess grip traction with the jimping um, and you know you give it a good flick and it comes right out try to go with the right hand um, you, know, you can it, it's very easy um, this knife is on bearings that's what I forgot to talk about it came to my mind I started talking about something else I forgot about it but boom popped back in my mind so this knife is on bearings um, and you guys can see it's very smooth it's tough for me to fail this knife um, you know you can do the push button and it still comes out. I mean, it doesn't rock it out when you do that, but it still has a very good detent. There we go. See, I, I'm trying to fail it and I can't. Uh, you can do the light switch, which in my mind is, you know, you're getting more power from the light switch method. So that's, you know, less likely to um, fail. But for push button, we'll try again. Yeah, see, it's just hard to, there, I, you can't. I mean, if you do the light switch softly, you can get it to fail but I mean it's it's a good detent it, it has you know a good crisp break to it so most of the time you're just gonna come out and it's gonna fire and it's just going to be you know bang right there so just wanted to point that out but I think the detent is done very nicely on this knife um, very very you know responsive very very um, easy I guess you could say so the flipper tab great action opening action great now you do have a liner lock and I really like the cutout here. It's very easy to, it's very easy to be accessible. Um, it does have some jimping there so your finger catches. Uh, you know, you can just shove your thumb in there and most of the time it drops, hits my thumb and all I gotta do is shake it once or twice shut. Um, you know, like it's just, it's super easy. Um, sometimes it'll hit my nail and sometimes if I put my nail super low on the uh, liner lock, it'll swing. There. That wasn't a very good uh, uh, rendition of it, but if sometimes if it misses it, it'll swing and the, the blade will hit my nail. Um, I've cut myself, I think, two or three times on it, but I mean, it's just, it's very smooth. The bearings are dialed, just very, very nice. Um, try to 
try to do it lefty. And it's just, I mean, you can shake it. It just, it just comes down, guys. So action is very well done on this knife. Um, it is dead centered, which I forgot to mention, but just really fun to play with. I have fidgeted with this knife a ton when the, the you know, the time that I've had it. So try to bring it back here. There we go. Just really great action. Opening action, awesome, bangs out of there. Really, really smooth on the close. Um, I can't do it as well because it's left-handed. Um, I mean, I can show, that That kind of showcases, you know, this, the smoothness of the blade and of the, you know, the bearings that it's on. But here, you know, the normal way that I would use it, hits my thumb, bang. Hits my thumb, bang. Like it's just, it's good. Um, I've really, really enjoyed having this uh, to play with. And I think the action is phenomenally done. So next we're jumping into ergonomics. And ergos are surprisingly really well done too. Um, I, you know, looking at this knife, it's kind of different, but kind of, you know, plain at the same time. I mean, you have, it's pretty much just kind of a, it's not straight, but it's very, you know, uh, con conformed and, you know, utilitarian, I guess, back here. And then you have an indent right here, and then you have this big swelling, and then it kind of goes back to, you know, smaller back here. You do kind of have this, it's it's not a full choil, but it's kind of a half choil right there that you can land on. Um, you have some jipping up top here. That wasn't a very good showing, sorry guys. Got some jumping there. And when I'm not choked up in the choil position, um, I can still get four fingers on there pretty easily. I do have a little bit hanging off. Um, I got my thumb right on that jimping. And it's very comfortable. You know, the, the, my card is very well done. It's contoured very well. Um, you know, it's, there's no sharp edges except for, um, the, something with the pot clip, which I'll, I'll get to, um, in a minute, but you know, what, like this, it is very comfortable. Uh, I can do some really good work with it. And then if you need to do some finer work, you do have that kind of half choil you can choke up here. Um, and it's even, you know, it's still very comfortable. I get kind of locked in right here. So that's awesome. Uh, you know, just all around really, really good. Kind of, I would almost consider this to be, I don't know, almost like, a, I don't want to call it like a pistol grip, but that's kind of how I feel when I'm holding it like this. Kind of backwards for you guys, but like holding it like this, I kind of feel like I'm holding a pistol, um, sort of. I don't know why. I, I don't know if it's just because it, it kind of, you know, droops off in the back a little bit, but it just, that's kind of how I, you know, a pistol or like a rifle stock. Um, so it's kind of natural to me because, you know, I kind of, I grew up shooting guns and, I, you know, I've always been around them. So it's, maybe that's why it's it's more of a natural feeling to me, but it's, it's very comfortable. Um, you know, I just, this is a great, ergonomic knife um you know you can do some really good work with it and if you have to do fine work the choil is is really really good for my size hands to choke up and to have um you know more precise movements with it so if you have any bigger hands um you might be i mean you still have, i still have some knife there but if you have bigger hands it might be more of a struggle to you know get all four fingers on there but me personally i can fit on there great so um, the one thing that I do want to sort of talk about with the pot clip for ergos is now this doesn't affect me as much because I'm not left-handed um, and I, I primarily open the knife. Like if I'm going to use it, I pull it out with my right hand because it's in my right pocket, bang it, open it, you know, do what I got to do, close it, put it away. But if, I guess this wouldn't really matter because if you're a lefty, you do have a reverse pocket clip and it could go on the other side. Uh, but one thing I did notice is like when I'm fidgeting with it with my right hand um, and I'm like, so I, I, you know, I go to open it with my left hand and he, I go to close it. The knife is kind of like in my palm. I get enough pressure. I get enough leverage to go with my thumb to close it um, and then I close it. But while it's stuck in my palm like that, I, I did notice that the edge or the, you know, bottom of the pot clip is kind of it's not sharp but it's definitely pointy um you know you it doesn't really show up too much on the camera but right along the edge here um 
and I can't see it very well. And like I said, it doesn't show up that much on camera, but when it's in that position and it's kind of jabbed into my palm, the edge is a little bit pointy and a little, not, not sharp, but I can definitely, it's, it's almost like sort of a discomfort to use that when it's like, you know, cause you gotta jam it into your palm to get some good leverage and then do that. So that was just something I noticed. Uh, now obviously that wouldn't be affecting a lefty because if they were pulling it out of their left hand pocket to use it, the pot clip would be on the other side. So it would pretty much be the same way as me using it right-handed. Um, just something I noted and I want to, you know, I wanted to put out there, but oh, got something going by, got the sirens going. Um, but you know, that doesn't take away from the actual ergonomics of the, this knife and how comfortable they are, you know, how usable they are and just how well done I think that they did with this. So that was just, again, something I wanted to put out there and I, you know, had noticed it, you know, while fidgeting with it. So ergos are good. Um, next we're going on to carry. And like I said, this is a milled titanium pot clip. It is not deep carry. Um, you do have a pretty deep carry, but you have a little bit sticking out of here. Um, kind of like that, maybe a little bit more. But uh, I've grown to like it because I think the pot clip looks very good on this knife. Um, aesthetically, it fits it very, very well. And you know, as long as you don't have like three inches, two inches, whatever this is, uh, sticking out of the pocket, I'm okay with, you know, excuse me, um, non deep carry clips, as long as it's sort of deep carry. Um, but yeah, this thing looks good. Um, but the one thing I wanted to note is it's a single screw on there. So it has a tendency to, you can kind of move it. Um, and that doesn't bother me as much, but sometimes like if I'll pull it in my pocket and the night is the pot clip has shifted like this, I'll just have to, you know, adjust it sort of in the middle. That's just something I wanted to note. but that's, you know, that's what happens when you only have one, you know, one single point in the pot clip. It, it gives it room to sort of, um, you know, uh, rotate a little bit. And that's, that's not really a knock on the knife because I do appreciate the fact that they have less screws in here. But sometimes it can be a slight annoyance if you have to, you know, pull it out. Oh, you know, you know fix my pot clip. If you have OCD, I kind of have a little bit of that. So, again, just something to note similar with the pot clip that doesn't affect the performance of the knife and it doesn't affect you know, the overall aspect of the knife, but it's just something I wanted to uh, make note of in my review, so. But carry itself, you know, this knife isn't super big. I would consider this to be, you know, I would call this a, you know, a smaller full-size knife. Um, it's definitely not a small knife, but it's definitely not a big knife. Um, but it carries very, very well. You know, it sits in the pocket. You do have this flipper tab right here, but it's definitely, I would not consider this to be a pocket pecker. Um, and it's nicely rounded. So if you reach down in there, it's not going to catch your hand too bad. The jimping is, you know, not aggressive at all. So if you happen to have to reach deep down in your pocket and you go to pull out, like I said, you're not, you're probably going to, you know, just, you know, go bounce right off of it. Even if you do hit it, you're just going to, you know, get a little bit of resistance and then bang, you'll come right back up out. So, and the pot clip, you know, has has good retention. Um, you know, it sits in the pocket very well. Like I said, you only have a little bit of knife sticking up out, something like that, maybe a little bit less. Um, I never do a very good job with, you know, a rendition of <laughs> how much pocket or how much knife sticks up out of your pocket with non deep carry clips. Um, but it carries very, very well. You know, it's comfortable. It's, you know, relatively, it's not lightweight, but like I said, it has a good pocket weight to it. So no complaints there. Um, you know, overall a good solid carry. So that leads me to my final category of price point and what I recommend this knife. I believe these go for like 185, 190 in that price range. Last I looked, that was what they went for. Um, I don't know if you can get them. I've always looked at them on American Blade Works site. Um, I think that they do like ship or uh, do like shipments and random drops to, you know, certain retailers. I'm not positive on that though. These can be slightly hard to come by because he, it's a, I think Michael is just like a one man show. It's him producing all these knives. Um, so, you know, I think he, he do, he does announcements and he'll like, you know, say when he has new knives coming out. I'm not totally sure though, cause I've never tried to buy one. I've never like paid attention that much to it. Um, but you know, I will leave a link to the American Blade Works website in the description as well. If you want to go check them out, you might, you know, you can get some more info on there, but we'll call it 185, 190. 
I think this knife is absolutely worth it. This is an American made knife, American Blade Works. Um, you know, with good materials, you're getting nice, nice micarta. Um, you're getting, you know, a nice usable blade. S35VN is very adamant for this, uh, you know, price point. Really nice titanium uh, milled pot clip. Just an overall really nice looking knife. Very usable. Um, kind of utilitarian. Kind of kind of plain Jane, but in a really good way. Uh, I just think it's, you know, it's very usable. It's very comfortable. Very ergonomic. And I just, I think it's well worth it. Um, now, so I, I would recommend it. But that leads me to say I'm not going to you know, run out and try to buy one right now just because I have my, you know, my eyes on some other stuff and I'm trying to be smart with my knife purchases right now. So, um, I don't, I don't, uh, excuse me. What am I trying? I just lost my train of thought. So I saw a text message pop up on my computer and I saw it and I lost my train of thought. So I apologize about that, but, um, I would recommend at this price point, 185, 190, we'll, we'll say 200 bucks with, with shipping, um, 200 bucks for American made knife, good materials, good ergos, um, you know, carries well, it's going to last you a while. I think that's absolutely worth it, but I'm not going to run out and buy one right now. I would like to have one in the future, um, to add to the collection, you know, when I have more freely available knife funds, um, just cause I, I really did, a, I, I did appreciate having it in. I did enjoy carrying it and flipping it and just, you know, sort of hanging out with it. Um, I guess you could say, um, and I think that the micarta versions are awesome. The G10 ones that I've seen on the website have looked really good too. So there's a lot of options you can choose from, a lot of different you know colors and whatnot. So I really like it. Um, like I said, this was probably one of my favorite loaners I've had in for a while. Um, and that's saying a lot because I liked, I think, every single loaner that I've had in from other channels and other uh, knife buddies. So um, yeah, I actually, I would, you know, something that popped into my mind is I think that this would be a perfect gift for like my dad who he's into knives and I've gotten him a few knives before to carry more recently um but you know I would want to get him a, like a flipper knife because it's easier for him to use um, as opposed to like a whole only knife to where you have the middle finger flick and he has to learn that to you know a flipper you just pull it out bang um, and I think that this will be a really you know awesome knife for like a really nice sort of high-end knife for him to use um, just because it has good materials like I said and everything about it is just awesome so maybe in the future when I'm you know I'm still kind of getting him you know I've gotten him two knives for now uh, but I plan on getting him more over the years because you know I'm a knife guy um, I'm always gonna be a knife guy so I want to you know have him get a little bit of a collection going too so maybe in the future that is something you know when I have more I guess when, you have, when I have adult money to spend on him, maybe that's something I can get him for, you know, a special Christmas or a special birthday or something like that. So just something that popped in my mind and I wanted to add in there as well. And so that's all I have to say about this, guys. Um, again, shout out to John over at Grateful Panic Knife Reviews. Where's my sticker? Right there it is. Thank you so much, John, for loaning this out to me. I really appreciate it, dude. Go check him out. His Instagram and his YouTube will be in the description down below. Um, American Blade Works will also be, the uh, website will also be in the description down below. Really, really impressed with this knife, um, and I'm really glad I got it in, so. That's all I have to say, guys. Uh, I am sitting right at 450 subs, so I do want to say, if you guys like this video, please consider clicking the like and the subscribe button. Um, I, you know, I don't think I've said that before in a video, but I would really want to push to get to 500 subs, because I have a, a pretty cool giveaway to do for you guys. Um, and I just really would like to, you know, the faster I get there, the faster I can do the giveaway. But as always, thank you guys so much for, you know, all the support and, you know, for the, the regulars that always watch my channel and the new videos and always leave a comment. I absolutely love you guys. You guys know who you are. I greatly appreciate that. So thank you. Um, and yeah, I don't know, you know, I think this will post, uh, I'm filming this on Thursday. I don't know if I'll post this, post this today or sometime over the weekend. Um, this will be the only knife video I have to film for you guys. Um, if you've made it this far, I do have some new stuff coming in next week to film, so I'm excited for that. But I only had one video to film for this week, and this was it. So again, thank you guys so much for stopping back in and watching the video, supporting the channel. I greatly love you guys. Um, you guys know I like to ramble at the end of my uh, videos, so I will stop now. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.